All right, now we're doing 7Q Movie Showtimes. This is by Kulug, Kulug, and 94% uh, of the people like it. So we just started working at the local cinema, and our first task is to write a function that returns the showtimes of a specific movie given its length. In order to make our job easier, we will work with a 24-hour format throughout this kata. Our function receives three parameters, all of them being integers, and open, which is the hour, which is uh, when it opens, close, and length, and uh, you can guess what the others are. Uh, it must return an array of, pardon me, it must return an array of times, with each time being in the format hour and minute. For example, 1930 means 1930, and 20 means 2 o'clock. The last session in uh, the array cannot end after the cinema closes. Also, the times in the array must be sorted from earliest to latest. Gotcha. There's a 15-minute window between sessions at the between the be, beginning and the uh, end of them. What else? What else? Here's another example. Uh, here's an example of what it looks like, and some more words. All right, cool. So yeah, basically we're just doing open close. Can't go past close. And this is just a schedule with a 15 minute break in between. So, what we're gonna do first is since we have to return an array, we're gonna say let result equal an empty array, all right? And then down here, we can just uh, start with a for loop because we're gonna start from the uh, opening and then go all the way to close. And so let's say uh, for let I equal open, but we're going to have to do this, uh, we're going to have to convert this to minutes so that we can do uh, an array at the end where we take the remain, where we do remainder operator and stuff. So we're going to say open times, where's the times, what, times 60, all right? And then we're going to say uh, if I is less than close times 60. We're going to say i plus equals, and then we're going to say the length plus the 15 minute window, right? And we got to wrap this thing up in parentheses so it works correctly, all right? And also over here, uh, it's not just let's say less than or equal to close time 60. And also the length can't go past the closing time. So we have to say I plus length is less than or equal to close time 60. All right, now that we've got that going on, let's start down here. So all we gotta do really is just uh, push. We're gonna have to do result dot push and then we're going to push another array since we're going to return an array we're going to return an array of arrays we're going to say in this first one uh, what is it we're going to say this number i remainder operator uh, 24 but first we have to we're going to have to divide this number by 20 by uh, 60 because it's in hours. So let's say, uh, what? No, because we're trying to put it in hours, my bad. So we're gonna say I divided by 60, so it's in hours. And then we're going to say remainder operator 24, right there, so that it gives us uh, the hours when the remainder hours, anyway. So we've got that going on. And then we're going to say over here, I remainder operator. 60 for the minutes, okay? And then down here, we'll just say return result. Let's test it out. All right, and we've got this action going on. So we're gonna have to do a uh, math.floor so we can round all these down. And if you don't know about the math.floor function, it uh, always rounds down and returns the largest integer less than or equal to the given number. So we're going to say here, uh, in front of this one, we're going to say 
math.floor. And now let's test this out. All right, and so this, we expected this to deeply equal this. So what's the problem here? Well, if we look down here, uh, this opens at 13, but closes at, uh, excuse me, that's not what we're looking at. Is that what we're looking at? Oh yeah, we're on this one. So if you see this one, it opens at four o'clock and closes at three in the morning. So this number is bigger than this number, which makes it not work. We're, so we're gonna have to add 24 to this one so we can do, uh, so we can make it work, all right? So let's say if, if open is greater than close, we're going to say uh, close plus equals 24. All right. Now let's test it out. And there we go. Awesome. Okay. And uh, let's just go back over this one more time. So if open is less than close, close plus 24 hours because uh, it ain't going to work. We just saw that. Over here, uh, I is going to be open time 60. And then when I plus length, because it can't go past the length can't go past the closing time. So when I plus length is less than or equal to the closing time times 60, we're going to say I plus equals the length and 15 minutes uh, in between. All right. And then we're going to push math.floor I divided by 60 because it's in minutes and we want it to be in hours. And then we're going to get that big number and uh, find the remainder of it by this 24 so that we can. Uh, uh, so is it going to be a big number? I don't know. Uh, maybe it is. Anyway, whatever the number is going to be, we're going to get the remainder operator for 24 so we can get it, uh, the hours on a 24 hour clock. And then this is just going to be the remainder operator 60, uh, so that we can get the minutes, all right? And that's it. Then let's attempt it and submit it. All right. And so I guess I'm at the top of the pile because of uh, alphabetical order <laughs> and best practice. But yeah, here's this one here. Uh, they do more variables than we do. All right. Here's this one. Uh, pretty much does what we do, except for they do this step, which is not really necessary since 1440 is divisible by 60 and 20 excuse me, of 24, is divisible by 24 and 60, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, here's this one, pretty much the exact same as this one. Uh, and then this one, you can check out all the rest if you feel like it. Well, we don't even need to go mine because mine's right here. Very much like it. Best practice already on that one, and we'll see you next time.